Hello. Now we're going to get at least a little familiar with the custom tab on the analog discovery waveform generator. The custom tab is used to create signals according to your own specifications. These signals don't need to fall into any particular category. The waveform generator provides a variety of ways to create signals. I'll give a quick tour of several of the custom tab's features in this video, but our project will emphasize creating a signal from a mathematical expression. In this project, we'll create a signal which illustrates a phenomenon called beating. Beating occurs when two tones with very similar frequencies are played at the same time. The amplitude of the sum of the two sinusoids fades in and out. The frequency of the oscillation in volume corresponds to the difference in the frequencies of the individual signals. You can hear this effect by striking two closely spaced keys on a piano simultaneously. The closer the two keys are together, the slower the apparent oscillation in volume will be. Here's a graphical representation of the beating process. Our signal starts out as two sinusoidal signals with slightly different frequencies. Mathematically, if we add these two signals together, we get this signal. The amplitude of this signal varies sinusoidally, so we'll hear this as a sinusoidal variation in volume. The frequency of this volume change will be the same as the difference in frequency of the two original signals. If the signal's frequencies get closer together, the amplitude variation will be slower. We'll use the analog discovery waveform generator to create this signal, play it back through a speaker, and listen to the result. As with the last few AWG projects, we're creating an audio signal that we want to listen to. Therefore, the circuit we'll use is the same one we used previously. It's simply a speaker connected to channel one of the AWG. Again, I'll be using a set of speakers connected to the headphone jack on the analog discovery to play back my signals. To create a custom signal with the waveform generator, click on the basic tab and then select custom. To create a signal, click on edit. An editor window will open. There are a variety of methods for creating signals using the editor window. The function tab lets you create piecewise signals from a list of common predefined functions such as those found on the standard tab. The file tab lets you import signals from files and incorporate them in your signal. The values tab lets you set specific values at specific times. In any of these tabs, you can also draw your signal directly on the display window by clicking and dragging with the mouse button. For this project, we want to create a signal from a mathematical formula. To do this, click on the math tab. In the math tab, you provide a mathematical representation of the signal along with a range on the x-axis or time axis over which the signal is defined. I'll rather arbitrarily choose my x-axis to go from minus 0.5 to plus 0.5. This choice isn't too important, except that the mathematical expression I create next has to be consistent with this choice. Now, just type your equation in the text box. I'll form my equations from sinusoids with frequencies of 30 and 31 cycles. So, my signal will be the sine of 2 times pi times 30 times x plus the sine of 2 times pi times 31 times x. To create the signal, click on Generate Math. This gives me extremely small amplitudes, so I can just scale the whole thing by a number. I'll say I want to multiply the whole expression by 50. That looks like what I want. Now, in order to make the signal available for playback, click on Save as New. If you click Save, it may overwrite a previously created signal. Now an icon on the AWG window shows the signal, indicating that it is available for you to use. To play the signal back, click on the icon you want. It'll be highlighted in blue. The signal values set in the editor window are all normalized, so we need to set the actual frequencies and amplitudes we want. We'll have our signal beat fairly slowly, so I'll choose a sig signal frequency of 5 hertz. Also choose an amplitude of 5 volts. Click on Run AWG1 to listen to the signal. It sounds as we would expect from our previous discussions about beating.